Hello everyone, I'm Greycloak, thank you for joining me, and welcome back to Crestorio for episode 15, I believe. So we are getting ready to do some oil processing, and it seems like it at least it start out as in vanilla, so we are somewhat comfortable with that at this point, at least I am. And if you're not, then, well, have a look. It's not really that complicated to begin with. Only later on, when you need to figure out ratios and so on. But this basic stuff is very easy. That's something that they have changed, which is nice. It was a beast to overcome when you first started out with the game and had to learn stuff. Good, so this is our oil. Should we make some large power poles? Yes, we should. Because I don't want to be running small poles down this way. How are we doing here? We can produce twice the amount of power apparently. How are we doing on coal? Just fine. That surprises me a bit actually. I would think this used a lot of coal but these, what is that, 10, 9 minus is apparently more than enough. Actually these 4 is enough so yeah. Oh well. That's just good. Give me Large power poles. Seems like they might have extended the reach of these a bit. At least large to small pole, maybe, but maybe that's just me. Let's go with that. Eight? Did I not produce five? Oh well. Let's leave some space in here for water when we get to advanced oil processing. Basic. Did I leave too much space? I think I did, but maybe if we want this sort of setup. Should we maybe have some fluid tanks in between here? The answer is yes, of course. Where's my plants? There they are. So we need to move all of these up a bit. Just have some tanks there. Well, let's move everything up one more tile. Just so we can have a full line of the oil running around here when we also get water. That has to be threaded in. Up there, but good. Let's power some of this stuff up. Oh, too bad that it can't reach that far. Let's just bring the power in like this. Can we have one of these that reaches all? Nope. Too bad. 
Good, so now we're producing petroleum. Let's just make this as if we are going to get ready for advanced processing as well. If some of you don't know, then advanced oil processing will output three different types of oil, one of them being petroleum, then light oil and heavy oil. So we have to handle those in different pipes, and the pipes can't be connected to each other, so you have to do it. In a bit of a weird way, I guess. Good. So all of them are working now, it seems. And we have petroleum. Now we just need to get it closer to the bus. Should we just run it along here? And then pipe it up from there? Then maybe only have things that require liquids below the bus. I know we have this one up here, but maybe that was stupid as well. If we could just have a fluid bus running down here. I think I like that idea. Sulfur processing finished. What do we want? Research speed or mining productivity maybe? Or maybe just get rid of this. They produce 4.5 megawatts, but they use our petroleum. I don't think we want our petroleum used for that, but we want the research gone, so let's do it. So here is our water, let's just follow that. And we apparently need more of these. I should probably go and grab some pipe, but I mean, we can just make more here. I don't think we can use it faster than this anyway. So let's figure out where we want to make this plastic. Of course, well, what? how much do we need the plastic for? Plast plastic. Air purifier, solution filter, pollution filter, sorry. Electronic components, low density structure, matter research data, shells. So these things up here. Usually I don't really put this on the belt though, because it's pretty easy to just produce right next to whatever you need it for. And it's only half the density of coal, so I don't think we will put it on the bus. But that means we need to reduce it up here, next to our component production where we need it. So we would have to get the petroleum up here, but maybe that's okay. I think we will try and go with that anyway, so if we just put some of the production down here and let's see what we can figure out. I guess we could bring glass up here to merge with that and then we'll probably want to run it back up. These, then we have two of the ingredients. We could also just run them on 
all, run all of them on their own belt, cause... No, we need... well, we need three silicon to make five electronic components, so half a belt won't equal a full belt entirely. Maybe it's just that silicon needs to be on its own belt. That is actually true. And then I guess we just put it there. And then I guess we just produce plastic on the right side of this. And merge that belt with glass. Maybe I'm making this a bit complicated, but I think it'll, it'll work out fine. So, plants. We need coal input for those, of course, and then we need the petroleum. I think two of these might even be able to... No, they make four a second. So if we duplicate that, then that's eight a second, and that's more than half a belt. But let's just start with this and see how much we need, actually. Where do we want to output all of these electronic components, though? Do we need to move this over just one tile? And then have the output running down? Or should we put the output over here? Mm. Actually, I think we need to... Well, this can just run up, of course, so it's not really a problem, I don't think. It can even just run towards the middle. I just don't know if this will be larger of a production area this will, because... Actually, let's move this stuff over. If we move all of these over, and these... Then we can just turn this around and make sure that it runs past all of our machines. Even if this becomes larger than this area over here. And then if we just move all of this over, let's not move belt, that's easy to make anyway, but maybe move these over one more tile, and then we output here, and longhand insert. And we still just add glass there, then we should have everything ready for... ...production of these components as soon as we get coal up and glass and petroleum. Oh, it's just one short. Too bad. Let's grab some more pipe, and I guess we should use some of this. Cover your ears. Oh, it's not too bad when you zoom out like this. Pipe! And we need to make that into some underground pipe. Of course, it's a bit annoying that this has to run through 
in this production area out over here without being used, but that's just how it is. Good. That is petroleum, yes. Mm, sure, let's just research that. Whoops. Do we have any levels to spend? Nope. So now we just need glass and coal, right? Coal is right here. And glass needs to come up here. Whoops. Go right there. Good. And then we need power here. Oh, that is a nice smoke coming out of those chimneys. And then we just need the glass coming in there, so that's great. And then we need more underground build, of course. Maybe we need more than just two stacks every time we run over here. But let's just keep it at that for now. We don't want to fill our entire inventory with stuff. Because we're lazy. So we have our engines here, and we just... Add the components to those. I'm too lazy to run that all the way back when we don't need it. So let's just put it here for now. So if we want to balance these... I guess we could just put four machines more... four more machines up. them and then these four machines oh, it sucks a bit with this way of arranging the inserters because it doesn't leave a lot of space mm, let's not do that could just do this, but then we can only produce half a build anyway. How fast are these producing? 4 seconds, 5 electronic components. So in 1 second that's 1.25. So 10 of them is 12.5 and we need two more then, so 12 machines, which would mean that 6 machines is half a belt, right? 2, 4, 6. So we should split it in between these. Just do this output priority lift. That's actually a, actually quite a lot smaller of an area. Oh, it is a short area to 
shift the items over with. And if it's backed up, it'll even balance them, I guess. So usually what I do is this. But yeah, that's a... That's one tile shorter, so that's nice. Never used that before, but I guess I'll start doing that now. Now, of course, they won't be balanced if... Well, they will, I guess. Not completely balanced, though. That annoys me a bit. Also a bit more than it should, probably. Oh well. Let's not worry about that now, until we need a lot more of it. Are these actually different colored components? I want more of the blue ones. Well. It looks... well, it looks like a box with old, old cords in it, but it looks pretty nice and different. Batteries, sure. So now that we have components... Are we closer to getting these military tech cards? We need the research data, of course. By the research data is steel, coke, and biomass. We have steel and coke, and I think we can go and grab some biomass as well. If we produce a creep collector. So, do you just mark an area? With that, I guess. Whoops. And we can automate the biomass later, I believe. I think it says so in the wiki. Creep. Creep can be harvested efficiently with the creep collector, slowly with hands, and robots can destroy it. Reach the mid game, you can build. The biological laboratory to build biomass to grow biomass, sorry, without having to harvest it from nests. Okay, so we can automate it at some point, and then we'll probably just build it in near this. But let's get steel and coke on a belt. For these, no, for these. Yes. So we need one coming there, one in there. And then biomass on the other side, I guess. Or we could just have it over here as well. How fast do I produce this? 5 every 40 seconds, so that's pretty slow. And we need 1 for every 5, okay. So we can produce 5 times 5, 25 of these every 40 seconds. Okie dokie. Should we scale this to making one every second? That would mean one of these every five seconds, which would mean eight machines. And every five seconds we would use five coke and five steel, that's fine on half a build. Good, good. Good. 
So that's eight machines that can now produce spider research data. Let's bring steel and coke in here just to get it started. Coke will be a bitch in this case, it seems. But oh well. How much of a bitch will steel be then? I can just bring it down here, I guess. Then maybe bring it over here and up and around like that. And then we only need one underground belt coming down. Sure. Let's go with that. Things do get messy when you build on both sides of the bus, it seems. At least more so than when staking to one side. Coke, steel. Nice, a new level. So I can get... Maybe we are fast enough. I would like to get a bit faster though. But I'd also like bigger inventory and longer reach distance, so that's a tough one. Should we go for this? No, not before we get robots. Better grenades, maybe? They'll kill by it as fast or like that? Maybe this? We need advanced circuits for that and sulfuric acid. But I mean... Otherwise we can just go for this. Steel fluid tanks. It's weird that these are split up into two, but let's research this. It can be removed pretty fast. Now if we do this, of course... Let's have the biomass coming in from down here, I guess. And for now we just place what we gather in a chest. Let's just place these here. I still think this is more... It's cheaper, more resource efficient than the Splitter, so whenever we can do this, let's just do it. Of course, now we need to go and get some spider creep, whatever it's called, biomass. So I guess we just go and get our first sample of that. So, such a nice sound. Getting close. Oh, come on. That sounds so much like Windows bugging or something. Blue screening. Sorry that you have to listen to that, but... I'm afraid that's just how it is when I run, want to run faster. Okay, so we make no damage on the buildings with this. I guess we can just combine it with our shots. That was all of our grenades. Oops. Was that on the creep? Yeah, I'm pretty slow on the creep. just finish these two buildings so we won't generate as many spiders. Mm. 
good. And then let's harvest this, I guess. <laughs> nice sound. And that's biomass. But unfortunately, that's all we have time for in this episode. So thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.